apologize for the record, please. My name is Patricia Keegan. I live at 86 Street, Monks there. Um, I'm just here to um, talk about our streets and um, how dirty they are. Um, and we just did have the street crew come through last week and they were all working and shoveling and sweeping, but we weren't notified, so there were cars. It was really a waste of time for all those things. They had to go around all the cars and it wound up being a shoddy job. I wasn't worried about my house because I cleaned for about seven or eight homes in front of mine on our side of the street. Um, and also, going with the streets, um, the leaves in the fall, they come through in October, but our leaves are not the trees in October anymore because it's been so warm. So I think we need to take that and put it back, maybe into November if possible, because the leaves again are all over the place and they're not cleaned up because they're not falling off. And it's a waste of time of all the men that are doing it. Um, also, uh, with what that other woman was saying, the AT, we, I live not far from the dike, the, the ATVs, I don't know what the name, four-wheelers, you name it, they are all over. Because I have the old Fort Turkey farm behind me, we have the dike. It is unbelievable from morning to night as soon as the sun starts shining. And um, I have a, a grandson who has special needs. They ride on our sidewalks. And within, I don't even want to say one whole minute, my grandson came off the porch to speak to a person and like um, maybe 45 seconds later, two of them come tearing up the sidewalk. Well, my grandson would not, he associates that noise with the street, not the sidewalk. And they would have killed them because they just fly. And I call 911, they know me by name, I'm sure, because I call frequently. And so I, I've been talking to, uh, I think it's Lieutenant Milton and um, Captain Crane. And they told me to call the desk, which I do, and sometimes they're helpful at the police station, other times they tell me to call 911. But to get a car down there fast enough to get a hold of these people, they're going up to Turkey Hill on Cary Ave and getting gas. So it's illegal. Somebody's got to see them besides me. But it's really, really bad, very dangerous. The whole sidewalk thing is just ridiculous. I'm really afraid. We do have some new families with little children on our street, and I'm afraid that somebody's really going to get hurt. Because, and, and again, she said they curse at you, they throw gestures at you, and all that kind of stuff. Um, also, the curfew. I, I asked um, Lieutenant Middleton if there is a curfew. Um, I had some surgery, I did not sleep. I can tell you on Simpson Street, and we have still a pretty nice street in Oakstar. Um, and, you know, our neighbors, we try to keep watch on things. We have so many people up and down our street. I'm talking all night long. Not for midnight, I'm talking two in the morning. I have four children. I know that these kids are 14, 15 years old. They are screaming and yelling and laughing like it's noon, but better yet, what are they doing out? And we have so many people that are just up and down on their cell phones. I try to say hello to people. I try to see where they're coming from. But it's all night long, and, it's, and he said, we do have a curfew, but we're not enforcing it. So that might help out, you know, with all this stuff going around on the street. You know, um, they walk down the middle of our street, they look at the cars, sometimes you see them pull the handles. Of course, they call 911. Um, not an emergency, so, you know, I know that there's so much going on in the city. It, it is terrible, and, uh, and I've been a life resident, and, and it's a shame. So I, I really think that maybe if the curfew went on, we could nip some stuff in the bud with that. Like if you see it, say you have a curfew, we're gonna, I don't know what you do. You don't throw them in jail, but whatever you could do, there's just too much going on. And um, I want to say from June until September, this went on almost every night, just on our street. And again, our street is a pretty nice, quiet street. Um, I work in Kingston two days a week, and I have to say that there are workers. They clean their streets, both sides. There are workers actually get out of the, the trucks and pick up garbage. I spoke with a mother of, and just in passing, I didn't even know of a, of a person who works for the city on the street department. She said they're not allowed to get out of the truck. But they said when the truck is going by and there's big limbs or there's garbage in the drains, they can't just stop and get that garbage out instead of waiting for a bad storm and flooding to come and then it's all a big old mess. 
So that's a big thing with the streets. Um, and we also have a lot of dead trees going down to South Wilkes Square, which I'm sure the mayor, he goes the same way I do, so he probably sees them. And there's, so you have the big branches, you have a lot of, um, so can something be done about taking down all these dead trees that we have? And um, another big thing, again, is, I don't know if it's in the other parts of the city, we are overrun with skunks and cats. They are, my grandson is terribly allergic to cats. They are sleeping on our porches. They are going to the bathroom everywhere. Um, I don't know, I, we don't, and I, I have talked to um, a man from the city. Um, he came, he put, he caught some cats, he caught some stems, but it's one cage, and the guy has to keep coming back, and I mean, our dogs, not mine personally, our neighbor's dogs spray constantly. They were just like overrun with them. And I know it was an easy winter, so there might be more than usual, but I, I don't know what can be done, but it is like, when you walk outside, when the evening comes and it's dusk, <coughs> the skunks are just walking around, and you don't even want to go off your porch because you're kind of afraid you're going to get sprayed. Um, okay, my mind. Okay. Uh, yeah, 30 seconds if there's anything. Else. No, that, that's about it. I think you all I just have a question for you. With, with the ATVs, what time is that going on? Um, if it's on the weekend, it would be from morning until the nighttime. Um, there are parents who ride with their children with no helmets on. They put the kids, I would think, on the gas tank. Um, little kids, teenage kids. Um, and then on sunny days, after school it starts. But I really think that we have a bunch of teenagers who um, might be out of high school and then just ride them. Um, that it goes on most, and then down with the nice weather, it's just about any time, so. Oh, one, one more thing. Because of my grandson, we used to have children at play on Gladstone Lane behind Simpson Street, and it's gone. I don't know what happened to it. Um, you know, it was there for years when my kids were growing up, and now it's gone. So I don't know if somebody took it home and put it in there. And what street is that? It's Gladstone Lane yes. behind Simpson Street. And um, so I, I, we do have a bunch of kids now, and they're playing, and I was wondering if we could have that, because that is kind of being used as a thoroughfare, which was never done like that before, but it is now. So, All right. thank, thank you for your time. You.